Hey everyone, it's Karina. Today I'm going to do a review and I am sick, so I'm sorry about my voice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a review. Um, I am filming on my laptop, so I'm sorry if the quality is not up to par. But I'm going to do a review <clears throat> on this Contour Blush 2 palette from BH Cosmetics. And it's a big palette, decent sized palette. And um, honestly, I got this palette. I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. I got this palette for $8 at Ross. Um, so I was like, deal. Um, but this is what the palette looks like. And it's super sleek packaging. It's pretty simple. Um, and I don't know why, but it smells so good. Um, and then the back just has a bunch of information, which I pretty much never read this. But yeah, I'm just going to show you guys um, some of the pros and cons of these products. Uh, the color payoff, I'm going to do swatches, all that stuff. So yeah, we're just going to jump into it. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I am wearing... It's a dress. It's not like I'm like wearing anything else. It's a dress. Um, so I'm just going to tell you guys the pros and cons. So basically you just have this really nice baking powder, which we'll talk about. A like deep peach set. You have another peachy blush, a dark peach blush, a bronzer, and a deeper peach set. So these two are setting powders. That's a baking, that's a bronzer, and those are blush. So it's a decent palette. Um, and we're just going to start with this baking powder. <clears throat> As you guys can see, it's not chalky at all. I know the focus on my laptop isn't the greatest, but um, what basically what I do with this powder is I just put it um, on my concealer and set my concealer first with it. Uh, so to set this area and pretty much my high points. Basically what this powder does is it brightens your eyes up if you didn't know what a baking powder was. Um, this one on a scale of 1 to 10 for the pigmentation and the actual appearance of the product and the color payoff and all that stuff. Not that you need color payoff for a baking powder, but it is incredible. Not chalky. That one I would definitely give a 10 out of 10. <clears throat> Next is the, like my skin tone kind of color and this one look at that swatch is that crazy that's so true to its color um i use this to so what i'll do is i'll do foundation concealer i'll bake my high points and then i'll set the rest of my face with this and then once the rest of my face is set i'll go back in with this and wipe away the baking powder from all those other areas if you guys can see the swatch, it's very, very full coverage. Um, it's a great powder. That one I would definitely give a 10 out of 10 just because of the pigmentation. And it's such a gorgeous color and it's such a matte, clean finish that you don't have like sparkles on your face, you know? So, 10 out of 10 for that one. Next is this blush. Karina needs more fingers for swatching. This is the lighter blush. And if you guys can see the color payoff, is incredible. I don't know if you're seeing anything. Hopefully you are. And this one is a beautiful peachy pink color. It's right there. So it's just really pretty. On this one, I would say that it does go on a bit splotchy. Um, I don't know if that's just because of the brush I'm using or what, but this does go on a bit splotchy and it takes a minute to kind of get an even coat. So this one I would give a 9.5 out of 10 just because of the splotchiness of it when you put it on your skin. Okay, next we have this like dark, like very caramely color. And this one, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, children, we have witnessed the most beautiful setting powder there is in the history of setting powders. Do you see this? It just, I use it as a bronzer because obviously I'm not that dark. I use it as a bronzer. It works amazingly as a bronzer. The color payoff is amazing. Pigmentation is amazing. This one I definitely give a 10 out of 10. The only thing I have to say about it is 
It does give a little bit of an orangey kind of look, so I'd recommend just using a little bit. These products are very tricky to use because they do, they are so pigmented and they are very tricky to use. Um, <clears throat> next, we'll move on to the bronzer. This bronzer, I would give an 8 out of 10, which is surprising to me because I freaking obsess over bronzers and any bronzer. Um, but the only reason I give this a um, 8 out of 10 is because, one, I mean, the pigmentation and the color payoff, that is just incredible. You definitely see what you get. Um, and the only thing I have to say about it is this one is not blendable at all. That is the color you're going to get no matter how much you blend. I've tried blending it. I've tried using stippling brushes, blush brushes, angled brushes. It just doesn't blend. So that one I would give an 8 out of 10. And also it's a bit of a cooler tone than I would like. But that's my personal opinion. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I would definitely give that one an 8 out of 10. And then the last color is this blush over here. It's like a peachy pink brownish. We're actually going to apply this one with a brush because I love the brush payoff. So I'm using the MAC 168. And if you guys can see how well that came off on the brush, like literally just touching it, it's amazing. And these are a bit flaky, um, but it doesn't matter because I love them. So as far as the brush application, for that one. It's incredible. The color payoff is in freaking incredible. It's very blendable. That one I would definitely give a 10 out of 10. So the whole palette in general, all of these gorgeous colors and the packaging and the pigmentation, the formulation, all of that stuff, color payoff, I definitely give this palette a 10 out of 10 just because I love it, just because it's an amazing product. Very staple colors and stuff in here. Um, so yeah, if you guys would uh, want to review on any other products that um, you see, let me know and I'll be glad to do that. I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye guys.